Hi everyone and welcome to class. We have 40 minutes together. We're gonna to do some twisting, a little bit of core work and have lots of fun. So let's start lying on the back um, with your knees bent and your feet flat to the earth. And we're just gonna start with a little bit of core work to prepare. Before we begin, just close your eyes and draw a deep breath into the base of your spine. Then open your mouth, let the breath flow out and just feel your body sink to the earth. Then when you're ready to begin, open your eyes. You can keep your feet flat on the earth or you can bring your shins to tabletop. Interlace the hands behind your head. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, lift your head, neck and shoulders. Inhale, reach your fingers towards the front of the mat and exhale, lift your chest a bit higher. Keep the height, take the hands to the base of the skull and then lower back down. And we'll repeat that, breathing in. Lift, keep the elbows wide as you breathe out. Reach your hands forward as you inhale, lift your chest higher as you exhale. Keep the height, hands to base of skull, breathe in and lower down as you breathe out. Breathing in, lift as you breathe out. Reach forward, inhale, lift higher, exhale. Hands to base of skull, inhale, lower down, exhale. Just two more, breathe in, lift, breathe out. Reach, breathe in, lift higher, breathe out. Hands to head, breathe in, and lower breath out. Last one, inhale, lift, curl, exhale. Reach, inhale, lift higher, exhale. Hands to head, inhale, and lower all the way down as you exhale. Very nice, step your feet to the earth, hands alongside your body. Just peel your spine off the earth, one vertebra at a time as you inhale, and then slowly lower all the way down as you exhale. Bring your shins back to tabletop. Just one more exercise. We're just gonna do bicycle curls. So breathing in, lift your head, neck, and shoulders, and then extend your left leg forward and twist to the right. Back to center, inhale. Extend your right leg forward and twist to the left as you exhale. So continue like this on your own, and you can keep your straight leg at more of a 45 degree angle. Keep your elbows nice and wide and keep both shoulders up and away from the earth. So just two more on each side. Use your breath. One more each side, keep your shoulders lifted. And when you're finished, come all the way down. Hands alongside your body. Once again, peel your spine off the earth. If you'd like to go a little bit higher, you can interlace the hands underneath your back, draw your shoulders closer together, press into your heels. And then when you're ready, release your hands and lower all the way down. Okay. You're gonna bring your shins back to tabletop, take your arms out wide, just drop your knees to the right for a moment. Take a full breath in, close your eyes. Open your mouth and let the breath flow out. And then come back to center. As you inhale, lift the shins parallel to the earth and then drop them both to the left side as you exhale. Just one full breath in, the right shoulder's heavy. And a full breath out. Come back to center as you breathe in, drop them back to the right, press into your left hand and come up to a seat. So we'll find fours, setting the shoulders over the wrists and the hips over the knees. Look down at your hands, spread your fingers wide, get heavy through the inner seam of the palm. So it's the first time we're loading the wrist today. Tuck your toes and float your knees just off the mat and just feel into the weight and make sure the weight is even between the hands. Take one more, inhale and exhale to downward facing dog. In a down dog. Please unlock your knees. Feel the sit bones soften down towards the heels. And don't feel like you need to get your heels down onto the mat. Let them stay hovering just off the mat and then press your palms into the earth. Lengthen your arm bones. Wrap the inner upper arm towards the outer upper arm and lift the forearms up and away from you. Take a full breath in. Open your mouth, let the breath go. Drop your knees to the earth. Drop the belly, pull the heart through, cow pose, breathe in. Exhale, flatten the feet, round the back, cat pose as you breathe out. Tuck your toes under, heart pulls through as you inhale. Exhale out, downward facing dog. 
this time come forward to plank as you breathe in. Take your heels back and pull your heart forward as you breathe out. For this first round, please drop your knees, take your chest forward as you inhale, then wrap your elbows in and come through Chaturanga all the way to the belly as you exhale. Lotus pose, reach the hands towards the back room, float the chest and float the feet as you breathe in. Stay there, get longer through the spine as you breathe out. Lower the feet down, slide the hands by the lowest ribs, wrap the elbows in, cobra pose as you inhale, and lower forward and down as you exhale. Tuck your toes, extended child's breathing, and downward facing dog as you breathe out. One breath in, one breath out. Feel free to exhale out through the mouth if you had a lot of access energy. Then drop your knees down to the earth, same foot. Pull the heart through and help. Flatten the feet, round the back, chin to chest, exhale. Tuck your toes under, look forward breathing. Downward facing dog as you breathe up. Come forward to plank as you inhale. Option to drop the knees or keep them lifted now as you exhale. Take another breath in, wrap the elbows in. Lower through chaturanga all the way down to the belly as you breathe up. Reach the hands back, float the chest and float the feet. Lotus pose, inhale. Lower down as you exhale. Hands by the lowest ribs. Cobra pose, inhale. Lower forward and down, exhale. Tuck your toes, extended child, bum to heels, breathe in. And then downward facing dog as you breathe out. So you can always stay in that extended child's pose. Take one breath in. Open the mouth, let it all go. One more, drop your knees to the earth. Heart pulls through, breathe in. Flatten the feet, round the back, breath out. Tuck your toes, breathe in, look forward. Downward facing dog as you breathe out forward to plank, inhale. Stabilize, heels back, heart forward, exhale. Take a breath in, choose if you drop your knees and lower down to the belly as you breathe out. From the belly, reach the hands back, float chest and feet, inhale. Lower forward and down, exhale. Cobra pose or upward facing dog if you want, if you're familiar breathing in. Lower down as you breathe out. Tuck your toes, extended child's inhale and downward facing dog as you exhale. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Look forward as you inhale. Step your feet behind your hands and fold over your legs as you exhale. Rise to stand as you breathe in, reach the arms up, touch the palms and lift the eyes as you inhale. Pull the prayer to the heart as you exhale. Just close the eyes for a moment. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Feel the earth underneath your feet. When you open your eyes next, inhale, sweep the prayer up and see your thumbs. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, step back to downward facing belt. You can choose to stay in dog or come with me forward to plank as you inhale. Drop the knees if you need, lower to the belly or stay in chaturanga as you exhale. Cobra or maybe upward facing dog this time as you breathe in and then downward facing dog as you breathe out. Take a full breath, a full breath out. Seek the center and the feeling of balance and you stay connected to your breath. Then step your feet together to touch. Lift your right leg up and back as you inhale. You're gonna lift your bottom heel high as you exhale. Then take a little bend through your bottom knee. Keep your bum nice and high. Look slightly forward as you breathe in. Take your right knee to your right armpit as you breathe out. Now keep your bum super high as you slide the right knee towards the wrist. Take it across to the left and then slide it up the line of the left armpit. The bum gets super high again, then back, knee to nose as you inhale, and three-legged dog as you exhale. Lift high under the bottom toes, unlock the bottom knee as you breathe in, same thing, right knee, right armpit, breath out. Slide it down to the wrist, inhale. Across towards the left wrist, exhale. Up to the left armpit, breathe in. Back to the nose as you breathe out. Three-legged dog as you inhale. Bottom heel high as you exhale. 
Breathing in, right knee, right arm, and last one breath out. Slide it down to the wrist, inhale. Across to the left, exhale. Up to the left armpit, breathe in. Back to the nose as you breathe out. Three legged like dog, up and back as you inhale. And step the right foot closer to the right thumb for warrior one as you exhale. Set the back heel down and in and rise up as you breathe in. And in warrior one, you want the pelvis to face forward. And you know it's facing forward because both these frontal hip points will be facing forward. Reach your arms up. If they're not, just step your right foot a little bit wider today. Cut your right hip in and under, and then reach your arms nice and long. Pick up your lower tummy and see if you can descend a little bit deeper into the front knee bend. Take one more big breath in. Stay and complete your exhale. Lift your back inner arch, press your back leg straighter. And on your next exhale, release your hands down frame your front foot. Lift your back heel and just wiggle your foot back so you're in a lunge and the front knee is resting over the ankle. You can stay on your left fingertips. Reach your right arm forward and up and then open the chest to the right and take a nice twist. Cut the right hip in and under. Take your left shoulder away from your left ear and gaze all the way up towards your top thumb. Full breath in. Full breath out. Release your right hand down to the earth. Frame your front foot and take a three-legged downward facing dog. Right leg reaches up and back. So we're going to take what we call an upright pigeon. You're going to place the right chin onto the mat, but in a tight pigeon. So the heel is close to the groin and the right foot is spinning up towards the ceiling. So you can see in my body that my right hip is quite high from the earth. I'm gonna tuck my back toes under and I'm gonna press firmly down into the front chin, firmly down into the back toes, and then hug the front chin back. I can almost walk my hands and come to an upright shape. If that's not possible for you, that's okay. Just keep your hands on the earth, but keep the action of magnetizing down and hugging in. So you feel all this strength through your pelvis. If you feel solid here, if the lower back is healthy, you can also reach the arms up for a moment. Lift the heart, reach through the fingertips. And then everyone release your hands down to the earth. For a moment, just tuck your back toes under if they're not tucked already and float the back knee and just feel this nice stretch in the front of your back thigh. And then allow the outer back thigh to fall down and take the front hip back. Take one more breath. Stay for the breath out. Okay, tuck your back toes under, bring the back knee in a little bit more. You're gonna step your right foot in between your hands, any way you can get there. You're gonna wiggle the right foot slightly over towards the left side of the mat. So you're in a bit of a cross lunge here, and then pull your front leg to straight any amount. So you're gonna squeeze your inner thighs here, Press down into your front big toe. Hug the outer hips in. And then if this is a little bit unfamiliar, just soften into the shape. It's okay to do things a bit different. You can stay here with the heart lifted or you can fold gently forward over the front leg. So this should give you a really nice stretch in your outer front leg. One more breath here. Rebend your front knee. You're going to step back to plank pose as you inhale. Stay here or chaturanga, lower exhale. Choose your back bend, cobra or up dog, pressing heavy in the inner palm, breathing in, and then downward facing dog as you breathe up. Step your feet together to touch. Reach your left leg up and back as you inhale. Pause for a moment, unlock your standing leg and maybe float the right heel a bit higher as you exhale. Take a full breath in. Left knee to left armpit bump stays high as you breathe out. Slide the knee down to the wrist as you inhale, across to the right as you exhale, up to the armpit as you breathe in, and then back to the nose as you breathe out. Three-legged dog, up and back as you inhale. Left knee, left armpit, exhale. Down to the wrist breathing. Across to the right, breath out. 
up to the armpit, inhale, back to the nose, exhale. Three-legged dog, inhale, to the armpit, exhale, down to the wrist, breathe in, across the body, breathe out. Up to the armpit, inhale, back to the nose, exhale. Three-legged dog, breathe in, and step the foot forward for warrior one. Cut your back heel down, rise up as you inhale. And again, check that your pelvis is spinning forward. Your front hip is cutting in and under, the lower tummy is lifting, and the arms reach straight up. Pull the feet together, find a steadiness of breathing. Lift your back inner arch. Take one more full breath in. Strong foundations through the feet. Breath out here. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, hands down, frame your front foot. Lift your back heel and wiggle the foot back. Maybe stay on your right fingertips, reach your left arm forward alongside the ear and then open your chest to the left side. Slide the right shoulder away from the ear. Widen through the collarbones. See your top thumb. One more big breath here. Complete your breath up. Frame the front foot with your hands. Three-legged downward facing dog as you inhale. And we take the upright pigeon pose again. So landing on the shin with the left foot spinning up towards the ceiling. Firmly rooting down into the bottom shin, breathing down into your back toes, and then drawing everything in and up from that action. You can keep your hands on the earth, or if you're comfortable, walk your hands back. If the lower back feels nice and healthy, support it by lifting your tummy and maybe reach your arms up. The front hip is moving back, and the back hip is moving forward. Take one more breath. Release your hands down, everyone. Tuck your back toes under and see, maybe you can lift the back knee for a moment, but keep the outer back thigh rolling down. Okay. Drop your back knee down, plant your hands flat, press into your hands, step your left foot in between your hands. You're in a lunge pose. You're gonna wiggle the foot slightly over towards the right side of the mat. I know this can be confusing left side, right side of the brain, and then pull the front leg to straight. And you're in a variation of pyramid pose, but your legs are slightly crossed. So your inner thighs are squeezing, the outer hips are hugging in, and you might go, ooh, this is a bit different. <laughs> and that's great. So stay as you are, or fold. One more breath. Stay for the breath out. You re-bend your front knee. So I get a great stretch in my outer hip. You might be different in your body. Step back to plank pose as you inhale. And then choose, come through a vinyasa or go straight to downward facing dog as you exhale. Remember, you can always drop your knees. You can choose a cobra instead of an upward facing dog. You can just tailor the practice to how your body is feeling in every different day. Okay, from here, walk your hands back to your feet. Spin your feet out 45 degrees and come down to a little squat. Malasana. So this can be your, just your little intermission. Just a moment to catch your breath, hands to heart, just feel really free to stay as you are. I'm gonna take you towards a crow pose. So you can come and do a little prep or you can go fully into the shape. Okay, if you've never done this before, probably best to just stay where you are for today. So hands flat to the earth as wide as the shoulders. You're gonna wiggle your feet in and lift your bum up. Then lift your heels, let your knees go wide, bend your elbows, hug your elbows in, and just take your knees to the outer upper arms or to the backs of the arms and just stay here. If you're feeling good and you'd like to go a little bit further, you're gonna reach your right heel towards your bum, lower it down, tap your left heel towards your bum, continue like that, three rounds each side, or maybe both heels lift. Squeezing the heels to the bump, round the upper back, pull the belly away from the ear. Stay in the crow for as long as you like. And then we'll all come back down to a little squat. Okay, big smiles. 
Interlace your fingers to stretch your palms forward, release the wrists, shake them out, and we'll take downward facing dog. Big breath in, open your mouth, let it go. A different flow, step the feet together to touch. We're gonna have a little surprise move here. So stay flexible in your mind and not your body. Reach your right leg up and back as you inhale. Same as we did before, but a bit different. This time you're gonna take the right knee straight across the body towards the left upper arm. So you can stay just here, or you're gonna shoot the foot out and land on the knife edge of the foot. And then you'll pop up on your fingertips so you have a little bit more space, and you'll try and wiggle that front foot higher up the mat. Fall in triangle, you'll spin your back heel down, plant your right hand flat, and reach your left arm up. From here, all 10 toes will spin up towards the ceiling. You're gonna come onto your heels, and then voila, you will just sit your bum down onto the earth. Did you make it? <laughs> It's okay if you need to look. And you're gonna to turn to face your front right leg. Keep your left bum super heavy, lift your heart, take a breath in. And as you exhale, fold and see if you can reach the opposite hand. So the left hand towards the outer edge of the right foot. And fold here, you'll feel this tug of war between your left seat or bum wanting to lift off the earth and your heart trying to take you forward. Try not to muscle yourself into the shape. See if you can breathe space into the shape. One more breath here. And a breath out. Lift your chest as you inhale. And then to come out, we have to reverse. The same way that we came in, we're gonna come out. You're gonna plant your right hand behind you, just a little bit forward of the shoulder. Press into your right hand and come to fall in triangle. Come onto the heels and then anchor the back foot in and down. Reach your left arm up. This time, sweep it over the head and alongside the ear. Take both hands to the earth. Tiger curl, right knee comes to the nose. As you inhale, you might have to shift the back foot a bit. Three-legged dog, up and back. Big breath in. Step the right foot in between the hands and drop the back knee down. Reach both arms up, you're in a lunge. Inhale, right hand to right thigh as you exhale. Reach through your top fingers, take a full breath in, and then hook the left elbow to the outer right thigh as you breathe up. So bring the hands together in prayer, press the palms and just twist any amount to the right. Slide the shoulders away from the ears, and this is good with the knee down, but if you would like more of a challenge, you can float the back knee up and then try and lift from the back inner thigh, but let the front hip drop down and breathe for three, for two, for one. Drop your gaze and look down. Frame your front foot with both your hands. Walk your hands to the left side and parallel your feet, Parsarita Pada Uttanasana. And the same as we did in the seated forward fold, you're just gonna walk your hands towards your right foot. You're gonna take your left hand to the outer edge of the ankle, lift the right belly and see if you can fold into the right leg. The left hip will pull away from your face. One breath in. One breath out. Walk the hands back to center as you inhale. Just hang yourself for a moment as you exhale. And lift your chest back up again as you breathe in. And spin back to the front of the mat. Frame your front foot as you breathe up. Downward facing dog. Stay there and breathe up. So stay in a dog or vinyasa forward to plank as you inhale. An option to drop the knees lower to the belly or stay in chaturanga. Exhale, choose the back bend slowly as you breathe in, and then downward facing dog as you breathe out. Take a full breath in, open your mouth, breath flows out, and step your feet together to touch. Lift your left leg up as you inhale. 
Take your left knee to your right upper arm as you exhale. Pause here for a moment, then shoot the foot out, land on the knife edge of the foot. I kind of pop up onto my fingertips, so I tent my hands, and then you can wiggle that foot further up towards the top of the mat, that will help. Then plant your left hand flat again, spin your back heel down and reach your right arm up. And this is fall in triangle. Hug the left pinky towards the left side of the mat and then spin onto your heels, lift all 10 toes and lower yourself slowly down onto your bum. So you're in a wide leg forward fold. You'll turn to face your front left leg, heavy your right sit bone, lift your chest as you inhale and then fold towards your left leg. Take your opposite hand, right hand, and reach for the outer edge of the foot. And then maybe fold a little bit deeper. So you don't have to go too deep. Right seat's heavy. Heart is reaching towards your left big toe. Close your eyes and reestablish your breath. It's a nice, steady, even deeper breath in and out. So in our yoga practice, we really emphasize connecting breath with movement. On your next breath, in, lift your chest back up. If you're gonna take your left hand behind you, prepare and you're gonna reverse this action. So point the toes, press into your left hand, it's slightly forward of the shoulder, lift your bum up and your back and fall in triangle. So I spin my back foot down, reach my top arm up, and then over the head and alongside the ear. Two hands come to the earth, left knee comes to the nose and the tiger curl, I have to shuffle my back foot in, and then three-legged downward facing dog, big breath in. Step the left foot forward in between your hands and drop your back knee down. Reach both your arms up. Take your left hand to your left thigh, Reach long through the right side of the body, big breath in, exhale, hook the right elbow to the outer left leg. Take the palms together in prayer, and as you press the palms together, slide the right shoulder away from the ear. Stay here or lift your back knee up. If you choose to lift the back knee, power the back inner thigh, get heavy through your front seat. Breathe for three. For two. For one, look down, release your hands to frame your front foot. Walk the hands to the right side, parallel your feet and hang. And like we did before, walk your hands over to the left side. And you're gonna take your right hand to the outer ankle and see if you can spin your chest, fold over your straight left leg. Pull the right sit bone away. You can fold any amount that's comfortable. On your next breath in, come back to center. This time, take the hands behind you, interlace your fingers so you can bend your knees quite a lot here if you need, and then stretch the arms over the head, open the shoulders, open the chest. Don't be shy to bend your knees. I like to bend them quite a lot these days. Release your hands to the earth. Pick up your chest, pull your heart forward and inhale, and then spin back to the front of the mat as you exhale. Step back, plank pose as you breathe in. Stay here, take a chaturanga, or go straight to downward facing dog as you breathe up. Choose your back bend as you inhale, heart pulls through, and then downward facing dog as you exhale. Take a full breath in and a full breath up. Step your feet together to touch. We're gonna to transition to the front of the mat. Lift your heels, inhale, bend your knees, step, step, jump, float or fly to the front. Look up halfway as you breathe in, and then take a deep bow, a deep fold into your legs as you breathe up. Bend your knees and come up through chair pose as you inhale. And then press your legs to straight, hands alongside the body as you exhale. Close your eyes, take a breath into your feet. Exhale, breathe out through the crown of your head. 
When you're ready, open your eyes, sweep the arms up, lift the gaze. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, look up halfway. And exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. If you'd like one final vinyasa for today's class, you're welcome to go through it. Otherwise, you can drop your knees down to the earth, sit your bum back towards your heels and swing your legs forward. With your legs extended forward, reach your hands forward and then just C curl your spine slowly down onto the mat. Bend your knees and plant your feet flat to the earth. And we're gonna take three rounds of bridge pose. So the hands are resting alongside your body, rooting down into your heels. You begin vertebra by vertebra, articulate the spine and peel the spine off the earth. So you can stay just here where you can interlace the hands underneath your back, rock from side to side, bring the shoulders closer together and lift your bum a bit higher. So I'm rooting south into my heels and you can check by just lifting all 10 toes for a moment and then pressing them back down. Inner thighs down, outer hips up. One more breath. Take your hands out wide and then slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. Let your knees knock in, close your eyes, feel your body as it is today. And prepare for your second round. Open the eyes. Inhale, slowly curl the spine up. Pause when you arrive. Maybe hands underneath your back, if you like. Bring the shoulders a little bit closer together. Press down into your heels and breathe. Now, for those of you who have a full wheel practice, you know it, you've been here before. I'm not gonna even demo it. You're welcome to take it. Everyone else, you're staying with me here. One more big breath. Keep the height, just take your hands out wide. So just notice how much work the arms were doing to keep the height and then slowly lower down. Let your knees knock in and soften into the breath, full breath in. And full breath out. And get our final round. Press into your heels. Slowly peel your spine off the earth. Hands can come underneath your back. And again, you're welcome to take full wheel pose if you're familiar with it. Notice your breath. Action, pressing into your heels, outer hips, lifting higher than the inner thighs. One more big breath here. Release just the hands out wide as you breathe out. Take another breath. And then vertebra by vertebra with the exhale, lower the spine back down onto the earth. Separate your feet and let your knees go a little bit wider. Your feet go a little bit wider and your knees knock in towards one another. Notice where you are again in your body. How's the body feeling today? How's the mind feeling? How's the emotional body feeling? Then separate your knees and bring your feet parallel again. You're gonna cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Open eagle shape or figure four. You're gonna lift the left foot up and then just thread the arms through to hold on to the back of the thigh or the front of your left shin. Keep your right foot nice and flexed. Keep the back of the neck lengthened, the chin moving towards the chest. Take three slow, deep breaths. And really paying attention to your breath now, can you make the exhale longer than the inhale? You're welcome to breathe out through the mouth. If that feels sweeter and more relaxing to you. Good. 
one more. Then you'll step your left foot back to the earth and you're just gonna stack your right thigh over your left like you're sitting in a chair. Lift the whole shape up, reach the arms forward and just hold on to the shins. So you're gonna start here, just try and pull the shin bones apart or you can reach and hold on to the ankles and pull the leg bones apart, depending on your flexibility. You'll let the knees come in towards the chest. The bum might pick off the earth, that's okay. But see if you can keep the neck and the head on the earth and slide your shoulders down the back. So just take one more big breath here. Nice big breath out. Then release your feet, good. Step your feet back to the earth, uncross. Cross the left ankle over the right, activate your left foot, flex your toes, lift and thread. Reach for the back of the thigh or the front of the shin. Draw the whole shape in. Keep the back of the neck long, keep the breath nice and steady. Extending your exhale. So see if you can make your exhale longer than your inhale. And this practice has a very meditative effect on the body, a very calming effect. It's soothing to the nervous system. So if you struggle to lengthen your exhale, breathing in and out through your nose, just exhale out through the mouth. Close your eyes if that helps you to focus. And really step your right foot down. You can stack your left knee on top of the right like you're sitting in a chair. Reach and start by just holding on to the shins and just gently pulling the leg bones apart. And this is good or you can reach and hold on to the edges of the feet and pull them apart. Draw the knees into the chest. If you like, you can lift your bum just a touch. Try and keep the head and the shoulders on the earth. Just one more breath here. And then please release when you're ready. Okay, so step the feet flat to the earth. You're gonna take Sukta Baddha Konasana, so soles of the feet together and you'll let the knees drop open wide. If for any reason this is uncomfortable, it's pulling on your knees, you'll just step the feet flat and let the knees knock in towards each other. So the opposite direction. You're gonna take a hand to your belly, a hand to your heart. Close down your eyes. We're gonna take a two part breath followed by a longer exhale. If my count is too long or too short, you're welcome to change it. Come together with a breath in and a full breath out. Breathe into your belly for one, two, then your chest, one, two, Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. And belly, one, two, chest, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six. And belly, one, two, chest, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, just two more. And belly, chest, exhale. And belly, chest, exhale. Two more on your own. Staying focused, long exhale. When you've completed your last one, just relax the breath and find a natural flow of your breath. And you can release the arms alongside the body and extend your legs out to straight for Shavasana. Complete rest. Let the body become heavy and fall into the mat. 
And I invite you to stay here and take rest for as long as time allows today. And this can be the best part of the practice. Make sure you're warm and cozy. If your time is up for today, you'll just bend your knees, roll onto one side, put yourself up to a seat. Namaste. Thank you for class. I'll see you next time.